Hey, uh, so in this video, we'll be modifying the claims inside the JWT, which means the content. So if you remember when we decoded that using this website, it's the official website. As you can see, when you put it, it will tell you like the expiration time and it will tell you what the payload inside this JWT or the claims. So we need to add extra stuff here. First thing, let's go to the code. Don't forget to activate your virtual environment. So to do that source, then the path for it, or if you're on Windows, just the path, then the activate uh, bash script, and that's it. So after that, let's run the server. So Python manage run server. So uh, that's it. So go look host. 8000 and if you go here this is the current URL and we have this user this is the access token we can generate right now if you paste it here you will see oops refresh it's showing me the previous data yeah now it's uh, the correct thing so as you can see it contains the user id which is one uh, this is i guess by default but this is the expiration date it's after i think five minutes it's, uh, i don't can you see it maybe if i zoom uh, it's after five minutes so first thing we need to extend that to do this you will go to the settings and let me just see what I did. Or I can just show you the documentation. One second. It's this link. I'll put it in the description. So you need to add this global J simple JWT variable inside your settings and modify everything from there or customize. You will put the following. So access token lifetime will point to a delta time object. So we need to import that uh, at the top. So from dead time, import time delta um, function and give it hours one. So this like will it, this JWT will now extend after one hour. Let's test that. So I'll put this here. Uh, let's log in again. Let's put that one here. So if you now hover over it, it will you will see it. It's uh, on two thirty eight a.m. Now it's one uh, nine thirty nine a.m. So after one hour. So we modified that, uh, which is very nice. So this like this link is very important. I will put it in the description. Now the second thing we need to modify like the payload that exists inside the JWT. To do this, we need to extend the classes that we already are uh, using. If you go to the URLs, we are using these two, so we will extend them. And uh, since this is related to the user, I'm gonna do it in the user views. So first thing from rest framework simple JWT dot serializers import the token obtain um, pair serializer this one now from rest django framework simple uh, JWT views import token obtain pair view and now class custom or create a custom serializer and a custom view the serializer will extend the serializer and I'll create a class method called Get. This is what they will be using, get token, and you should call the parent class. But before I actually retain it, I will assign it to this variable. Then I'm going to add new payload to it. So first one is the name. This will be equal to user dot user name. Uh, as you can see, we don't have what to complete. So to get that, let's import our user model. This package will actually use the same user model we have, right? It makes sense. So from the current folder, go to models, import the user. 
and this will be of type user and now we will have auto complete so user now now token email would be equal to user dot email and token user id equal to user dot id now at the end we need to return the token i think it's uh, yeah so we need just to return it now let's extend this i'll call it custom uh, view and extend it we need to just change the serializer so serializer class will be equal to this one and now we need to use this view instead of this one here so i'm gonna copy these and remove these two and remove these i'm gonna remove all of that inside the urls here so we need we need to create them oops urls to buy of course i need to remove the admin and remove these this would be login right now and i'm gonna remove this one we won't be using that so from views for the custom fair view and use this one here and this is it now login so these urls won't be accessible because this is the main entry point we need to include these urls here so i'm gonna include import the include function and i'm gonna create a new path so users for slash i'll use the include and just give it the path and that's it uh the tutorials i like putting a trailer comma at the end but yeah these it's up to you um this should actually work so let's go and test it i'm gonna refresh this won't be available so we need to go to users then login and this will work so this is like a prefix by the way uh, here so this is a prefix to all the urls that will be included here to this so let's test it again yep it works but we need to check the payload if that changes we are good to go and yeah it did so the user id is one name email and the expiration is after one hour so yes i think this is it for this video we just learned how we can modify the payload inside the access inside the access token and how we can change the default expiration time so we will continue this we will now need to create the register uh, endpoint and um, after that we can maybe create the login and register form on the front end so yeah maybe after that things will become more exciting and uh, yeah that's it bye